Hi, welcome to Deborah Smith Art. Today what we're going to do is take a pour, a resin pour, that I don't like and redo it into something that hopefully I will like. So what happened with this one is I had a lot of resin left over last night on another project and instead of wasting it, I just threw it all on this canvas. It was already starting to harden and get gummy and yucky. So I just threw it all on here, heated it, smoothed it out because it'll make a great base uh, for another. But it didn't dry properly. There's pits, which I expected because it was terrible. There's even a bug landed in it and it's fossilized right here. So um, what we're going to do is take this piece of crap and hopefully turn it into something good. So I will get my materials and get you guys set up and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do first is sand my surface down um, because since I have a pour on here already, what I need to do is give the new resin something to adhere to. So when I sand it lightly, it's going to create a tooth so that that new resin will stick on there instead of just sliding off. Also, I've got to get this bug out. bananas with my sand in just a little bit just enough to clean it off and then I'm going to clean it with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and I'm just doing that to get off any of the dust from the sanding it should dry pretty quickly because it's 90 degrees in my studio Yay, so that sound you hear is my air conditioning. <laughs> Hopefully it'll start working soon. So while that's drying, you see it's already almost dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up my resin. Um, first, what I'm gonna do before I mix my resin, since I'm using pigment paste today, I'm using mica pigments. Um, I put those in the bottom of my cups before I pour my resin in. Um, if I don't, if I put the resin and then put the mica on top, it blows all over the place and you can't breathe mica. It's bad for your lungs. and I'm not wearing a respirator like you should wear a respirator at home, kids. Okay, so um, today I'm going to use Peacock Green from Lorez, uh, Blue Sapphire from Lorez, and this is probably my favorite color in the world right now. It's Copper Penny Shimmer from The Color Cottage. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. I can't say good, enough good things about that color. So I'm just going to put a little bit in each cup, and I just take the end of my popsicle stick and just get a, a little amount there, put it in. Being careful not to breathe it, and I'm right in front of an air conditioner, so hopefully it won't blow back on me. Woo, see you opened that one and it took off. That's ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. I'm going to put a little extra because I like extra sparkle. Okay. And I got a little bit on my board, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. A little bit of it sticking, but that's okay. It's going to get covered anyway. Okay, now I'm going to mix up my resin, and today I am using oh, a brand new two-gallon jug, so it's really heavy, of Pro Marine Supplies. Um, this is a tabletop epoxy, but I use it for art as well. Um, I think it's meant for boating, um, hence the name Pro Marine, uh, but I like it. I use it. It's cost-effective for me. Um, some of the resins specifically for art are very expensive. They're, they're not cost effective. Okay, so 
So for this size canvas, I don't need very much resin at all. I'm going to use probably six ounces. No, that's probably too much. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go four ounces. No, I'll go six. You can never have too much. So this is a one-to-one -one resin. So I'm going to pour three ounces to three ounces of each one. And that was the resin. I should have poured the hardener first. Um, everything I've read, all of them suggest to say uh, to pour the hardener before the resin. I didn't. It'll still mix up and be fine. Not a big deal. Now, once you mix this up, you only have a certain amount of working time. And with this resin, I found I have about 30 good minutes uh, before it starts to thicken and become a pain in the butt. So, as soon as I pour this in this cup, the clock starts. So, we've got to work fast. Now I am going to mix until it is nice and clear. There's no stringies left. Um, I will mix some bubbles in it, but that's okay because we're going to take care of those with the heat gun. Um, if you were casting with this resin, you would not want to mix fast uh, because when you mix fast, you kind of aerate that resin. It adds bubbles, and you don't want bubbles in your casting resin. They're a lot harder to get out. Um, but for art like this, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna mix, it says about two to three minutes, so I'm gonna mix up and I'll probably just fast forward through this. So. Looks like we're all mixed up. So I'm going to take my cups that already have the pigment in them and I'm going to pour a little bit of resin into each one. do with the leftover resin is put it directly on my canvas. I like to have a clear layer. Um, it helps the colored resin move around. Um, resin will only go where resin has been, so it moves a lot more freely if there's already a base of it on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this on here and let it sit while I'm mixing up my colors. beautiful that is. Ooh, that color. It's amazing. this resin on the canvas so it spreads easier and it pops all these bubbles you can see. 
so I'm just going to use low on my heat gun. I want to scorch it. Okay, when you heat it up like that, it becomes a lot more liquidy. See, here's part I didn't heat, and here's part I did. You can totally tell the difference. So now what I'm going to do is just spread this all over the canvas. I like to use my hand. A, it's fun. Who doesn't love to use their hands? And B, it's faster. I just like it. So I go ahead and take my hand, spread it all over, get a good even layer. The beauty about resin is it's self-leveling, so even if I don't get an even layer, it's going to even itself. <laughs> so I just make sure it's touched all surfaces. got another one handy. Might help if I put it on the right way, huh? Okay. So now we get to do the fun part and pour. I work better standing up, so I'm going to stand for this. Okay. So this is fun. I can just kind of do whatever I like. Notice right now you can still see that underpainting. Ooh, that color. That's bananas. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So now that I've got that on there, I'm going to give it a little uh, heat with my heat gun. Um, it's going to pop all those bubbles and make it a little more liquid so it runs a little better. So I'm just going to give it a quick pass. And you can see those bubbles just immediately come out of there. You can see how thin it is now where the heat's on it. It's moving around, it's doing some cool things. So I can either continue to manipulate it with the heat gun or I can pick it up and move it, manipulate it. So that looks really cool. It gave it a lot of depth. And I can come back in and in some more color if I'd like. Whenever you put more resin on, always make sure you heat it to pop those new bubbles. so cool. I'm in love with this copper man. Yeah, I think I like it and I'm not going to do anything else with it. The beauty about this <laughs> is I can leave it like this. If I don't like it, I can come back tomorrow like I did today and redo it. I can do another layer to add more depth to this if I choose to. Um, I kind of like it like it is. I hope it dries like this. 
the thing about resin is knowing when to walk away when you've done enough. Um, and I think I've done enough. I don't want to over manipulate. That was super easy. Um, oh, I've got a hole there. Let's fix that. So now what I'm going to do is put it in my protective drying rack, which basically consists of a wooden box over top of it, um, and we'll leave it until tomorrow and come back and see how it looks tomorrow, see how it dries. Resin continues to move and shift as it dries, and it's going to take about 12 hours for it to dry. Um, so we really won't know what it's going to look like until tomorrow, but I think it looks pretty cool for right now. So um, I will check back with you tomorrow.